The premium compact sports sedan segment is white hot these days. 3 Series, A4, ATS and IS are top contenders for your hard-earned wages. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times. Add another to the must test drive list, the 2015 Mercedes-Benz C-Class. All grown up, it has a strong resemblance to Patriarch S-Class. You can't get A-Class in America, and B-Class is only available here in a limited production electric vehicle. C-Class has traditionally been the entry-level Benz in the U.S., but now there's CLA, allowing Mercedes to move C-Class upmarket closer to E-Class. This is beginning to sound like an episode of Sesame Street. Inside, Mercedes schools the competition. Unlike C's of the past, this one looks fully German, tangibly premium, and authentically Mercedes-Benz, with pieces taken directly from the flagship S. Up front, the look is confident, tailoring in the rear, not as much. Go with C400's V6 for maximum thrust. This 300 gets a turbocharged 2-liter four-cylinder that makes 241 horsepower, and 273 pound-feet of torque nice and low in the power band. The seven-speed gearbox gets manual control. Steering, throttle, and transmission response can be tuned. All-wheel drive is available on 300, standard on 400. Worried the Turbo 4 is underpowered? Don't be, C300 scoots to 60 in around six and a half seconds. The cabin is quiet, gear shifts go unnoticed, C-Class gobbles up highway miles effortlessly. And it's fun when the roads turn twisty, giving up very little to the perceived handling champ BMW 3 Series. Personally, I prefer Cadillac ATS for hard romps. I've driven the more powerful C400 on mountain roads, and I've got to say, I do appreciate the extra oomph on the other hand, the 300 is crisper and lighter on its feet in the corners. Decisions, decisions. Well, there is fuel economy. The 300 averages three miles per gallon better than 400. With spirited driving, I'm averaging 24 MPG. Let me stress, love this interior. My only real gripe, I wish the door releases were up here. Reaching back, it's a little awkward. Not something I'm gonna do while driving, I know. Okay, one more thing. Mercedes should fill this frame with a bigger display. The command interface, not my favorite in the past, has been improved with a haptic touchpad that's useful in a couple different ways. Hey. The chairs are infinitely adjustable and in this case covered in synthetic leather. It's probably better than the real stuff. The back seat is easy to get into. The seat cushion length is a little bit on the short side. Knee, foot, and leg room are pretty good in class. Vents, door storage, and a power port are helpful to have. A large drive shaft tunnel is not. The phrase, two's company, three's a crowd, applies here. The bottoms are nicely sculpted, and the view out the glass roof is immersive. This one is all-wheel drive. Let's see if it has a spare. Nope. That's not uncommon these days. Generally, cars in this segment score a six in the TP trunk test. C-Class manages only five. The seatbacks try to make up for that though. Three sections, that's unusual. C300 Formatic begins at $41,300. Well optioned, this one goes for about 52 grand. Loaded with impressive safety tech, it hits 58. Pretty spendy, but it feels it. In sophistication and price, the 2015 C-Class muscles in on E-Class territory. It's nearly letter perfect. It's my job to be brand agnostic, and in case you're wondering, I was not a huge fan of the outgoing C-Class. The new one has a distinctive premium feel. If you're in the market for one of the usual players in this category, I highly suggest a test drive. And personally, I prefer it to the E-Class, but I like smaller cars. That's my opinion of the 2015 Mercedes-Benz C300 4Matic. I think you know what's coming next. I'm going to send you to the NewYorkTimes.com where I am a contributor. You can watch them there a couple weeks earlier than you do here, and you can watch them for free, really. You can get like 10 free episodes every month. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.